Hi, it's Jared with Truck Mount Forums, and if you're watching this video, chances are you've created a thread or a post that maybe you want to edit, perhaps the content is no longer up to date, or maybe you just want to delete it completely. As long as it's a thread or a post that you created, you can edit or change or delete to your heart's content. So let's find out how to do that. Now earlier today, I had what I'm calling a lapse of judgment in which I created a thread called Jared is a kinda okay guy. Now, this simply cannot stand, because inside I also stated that I hear he plays the tuba, which I don't play the tuba. Why would I say that about myself? Why am I talking about myself in the third person? I have no idea. But not only did I do it once, but I also did it twice. If you come down here, you should see, I agree, Jared is semi-cool. So I find myself with both a thread and a comment that I need to edit or delete. So let's take care of that. Now, if you're browsing through a thread that you've posted in in the past, you should notice a reply, a quote, and a multi-button on you know just about everybody's comment. But on yours specifically, there should be an additional button called Edit. If you click on that button, all text you previously typed should disappear, and it will be put inside a text box same as when you originally posted in the quick reply. And you can edit this all you'd like. I agree, Jared is a cat. I can change it to my heart's content. Tuba, tuba. It's just as if I'm posting it for the first time. So let's delete that completely and say, you are wrong, you wrong are. I'm so angry, I can't get my words in the right order. I'm furious, okay. So I've successfully changed my text. Now, when I click save, this will repost with the text up here, same as it is right here. But you will also see a edited by Jared and then the time that I edited it. Now, that is not optional. That will always show up. If you edit a post, it will show it regardless. What is optional is if you specify a reason for editing, which I'm going to do here purely for example. Tuba is not a word. Now we all know it is, but I just want something to put in there. So hit save, and there we are. Also I hear he plays the tuba. You are wrong, you wrong are. Last edited by Jared, the time I edited it, and then my reason. Now, once again, keep in mind this is not optional, but this is. So now that I've successfully changed my post, I want to change the thread title itself. Jared is a kinda okay guy. Anyone who views the off-topic forum, that's the first thing they're gonna see. That needs to be changed. So let's hit edit and change that. And I can't. Only the basic comment is available to edit. What's going on? Well, I'll tell you what. You need to click on Go Advanced to gain access to the title. So hit Go Advanced. It should open up a rather familiar screen. It will open up your basic thread creation screen with a few added options, such as reason for editing, which we saw before, and an option to delete the post. So let's change it to Jared is absolutely awesome power times 20. Okay. And also I hear he plays the mm, computer. That's not an instrument unless you make it one. So there we are. Jared is absolutely awesome, power times 20. Also, here he, I hear he plays the computer. So let's change that, save changes. And there we are, updated, good to go. Everything is correct. Except, this no longer makes sense. Jared is absolutely awesome. You are wrong. Well, I'm basically back to square one. Well, I'm tired of editing this. I'm tired of changing stuff around. Let's just delete the entire post. Now, there are numerous ways you can do this. If you want to delete just your comment, come down here to edit, hit delete. You can leave a message as to why you deleted it, but I'm gonna choose not to. You can't unclick it, just don't leave a comment. And then hit delete post. And there we are. That post, it's as if it never existed. There is no edited by, there is nothing left. So now I want to delete my thread. You can do the exact same thing, edit, delete. Alternatively, just to show you another way, 
you can come up here to administrative hit delete thread and proceed delete thread and there we are the thread itself is missing in its entirety no one has ever known that I was arguing with myself talking about how mediocre I am we're all good to go so that is how you successfully edit both a thread and a post and delete both a thread and a post. Looking forward to seeing you on the forums.